Okay, let's move ahead and talk about shifting. Shifting is when you combine the x-axis with the y-axis you've already practiced. And this is where things get a little bit technical and where you want to be very careful. Um, you'll refine this over time. It'll be fine no matter what, but you want to be sure you understand that when I move, you know, like for example, when you move from E to G, like this, it's a checkmark shape. It's a perfect diagonal from here to my playing point here. So like if, th if this is where I'm gonna play G, going from there to the note prior is a perfect diagonal like this. The way that's accomplished is I lift the wrist and I scooch over at the same time like that. That's how I get the check mark. So the order of operations goes like this. You play a note and you lift and scooch. You don't pick up the hand, you don't curve the stroke, you don't do anything weird. You just go like that. <laughs> it's just a lift and you move your hand over. So to practice that, you play a note and you scooch over. And you make sure that when you're here, you can check that you shifted to the right position. Okay, so that's why this body shape is so important because it lets us get familiar with this hand position in relationship to the key that's going to be played. When the mallets are in a normal relationship with the body, it's easy to know that when my hand is lifted here, I'm going to play a B. That orientation creates a consistency everywhere you go. So when I'm here, I know I'm prepared to play a G. And I practice check, check marks to different places on the keyboard, working to rebound smoothly with a clear diagonal from here to here, whatever shifting I'm doing. So you could do like that. I could go from like that. You have to complete the picture exactly as I, as I did. So if I'm going from E to C, I lift, I'm perfectly stationary at the top of the stroke. I'm perfectly stationary at the top of the stroke. I'm perfectly stationary at the top of the stroke. That's key. No preps, nothing extra, just down up and you're there. Once you achieve that kind of clarity and economy of motion and awareness of what could be extraneous in your technique, that's when you're really starting to make your playing efficient. Remember, this is just a way to clean up your playing. It's just a technical beginning to your approach. Later on, we're gonna fill it in. Next, we've got mixed manual shifts, which is when you move from this manual, we call it a manual, the white keys, out to the black keys, which is a different manual. And when you do that, that's when this forward elbow, elbow motion gets involved, okay? So do some of this and just understand like your body can do that, okay? And so when you shift out, it's, it's literally, the elbow comes out like that. So when I go from G to B flat, it's like this. And I'm there and you see how precisely I'm there. I might've even gone too far. You'll start to mess around with this forward back idea where you rock on your feet, okay? So start to experiment with bringing the torso by bending, you know, you might bend the right knee when you do that. And just notice how there's a bit of this dynamic forward and back when you do that. So then, then try it with the left hand. Maybe do both of them. There's a lot to mess with. You get to do any combination of those. So you need, you need to be creative and invent your own exercises, but remain consistent regardless of what you play. I might go from here to there, just cause. I might do them separately. You can do all those shapes and you are aiming to perfect the picture we discussed earlier. 